Well, howdy, everybody. This is John Michael. It's the first Sunday of Lent, and today we hear the story of Jesus being led by the Spirit into the desert. So we're led by the Spirit into the Eremos, into the wilderness, Eremos, where we get hermit, Eremite, and led by the Spirit. You don't do it on your own. You're led by the Spirit. Then you're tempted by the devil. You're tested. You're tested. And of course, the, the devil comes with his three great temptations, you know, uh, turn the the stones into bread, worship uh, me, don't worship God, and then throw yourself down from the parapet of the temple, that, that highest point of the temple uh, mount. And uh, Jesus rebukes him by basically saying, you know, you're quoting scripture to me, but you're quoting, quoting it incorrectly. Jesus quotes the scripture back correctly. So the devil uses half truths in order to get us sidetracked. The devil doesn't come and say, oh, I'm evil. Come worship. I'm an evil, bad guy. You want to be evil and bad and unsuccessful and die? He doesn't do that. He comes, you know, and he, he has cunning. It's like with, with Adam and Eve. You know, eat this, eat this fruit, Eve. You're not going to die. You're going to be like God. So he tempts us. He tempts us with half truths. So you have to know scripture, you have to know apostolic teaching, where the scriptures came from, how it was, how it's really interpreted correctly in your life. And then the devil can't touch him, but you'll notice he doesn't go away for good. He, he comes, waits for another time. So all through our Christian life, the devil will be coming to us, trying to tempt us with half truths and with promises that are empty. You stand up to him with the word of God interpreted rightly in the midst of the apostolic teaching of Jesus Christ that comes to us from the apostles. And don't be afraid to go into solitude and silence, to be tested, to be tried, but make sure you don't go there by your own power, go by the power of the Spirit. That's my prayer for you guys. I love you. All things are possible with God.